Morning, fellow RC enthusiasts, it's your host Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC here for another quick hit tech tip video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about our new file share uh, drive, essentially. So before, you may be familiar with like a drop down that we had on our website that you could select to download from. Um, we found that to be, well, kind of antiquated. And we decided to kind of upgrade to a Google Drive, cloud drive, so to say, that you can access all of our model presets from. So in what I'm talking about here is essentially anything Spectrum downloadable we're gonna have on this site. And I'm gonna have a link to it in the comments below and in the description below. So you can go straight to the Spectrum RC file share public drive and download your model files that we have available. So one reason that we went to this is that it's just easier to be able to manage uh, and upload things quickly. And you guys will be able to get more information readily right from this place. This, these places will be, these folders will be linked to from the product page for like your NX10s, your IX12s, anything like that. Uh, as well as our smart receivers going forward, you're gonna be able to download model presets for things like the AR637T, 8360, things like that. So one thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is to go down here to the bottom. If this is your first time here, if you're new to this sort of functionality, if you haven't used this before, I would recommend going to where it says, welcome, read me first. And an easy thing you can do if you wanna change the way that the list looks like, you can tap up here and go down to welcome, read me first. This will open up another tab and it kind of gives you some instructions on our cloud sharing drive and some important tips and tidbits about the uh, the drive and the files that you'll find here. Go ahead and read that, go through it, and you'll learn a lot about this. So I'm gonna go back. So what do we got here? Spectrum PC programmer, we're gonna have the most up-to-date version, which is version 3.6 as of the time of this video. That's the one that you're gonna wanna use with all of our new file sharing uh, things for like your 637T receivers and whatnot. Go back and you'll have updates for your smart devices here. Super easy way to get to everything that's available now. We also, like I said, these things will be downloadable on our website, so at least a lot of them will be, but this is a good place to check if uh, you wanna make sure that you are running the latest software, because I will be putting those things here personally. Um, this is a big one. So this is where you're gonna find your presets for your AS3X models for the latest smart receivers. So when I say smart receiver, that's the AR637Ts, the AR630s, the AR631, the AR8360T, and the newly announced AR10360T. AR10360T, yes. Um, so all of these will work on those receivers that I just listed off to you here. So you just download the file, you can tap on it, you can either uh, tap on the three little dots above and hit download, or if you right click, or if, like me, I, to right click, I long press, and you can download it there. It'll download it to your web browser, to your downloads folder, and then you can import that into your device of choice. If you guys are here trying to figure out how to use the model sharing files with this, I have another video that I'm working on. I should have it about done at this time. That will go into this into more detail as well. This one's just a general overview of our file sharing feature that is on Google Drive. This is all completely accessible to anyone with this link. Uh, you can't change any files here, you can't delete or add any, but you will have access to downloading them. So like I was saying, you get your NX presets, your IX presets, your DXC presets, your older DX8 Gen 1 presets, Gen 2 presets, things like that. So let's, let's jump into the NX presets. So in here, I've got them kind of categorized out by brand. So that's simple enough. And then we've got, you know, some miscellaneous stuff down here. And again, if you see a readme file and this is your first time coming here, open it up and give it a read. This will give you some information on what you're seeing here, give you some links and essentially how to pre uh, uh, a good general instruction on how to import models into that type of transmitter. So in this case, it's the NX transmitters, you can follow along here and it gives you some instructions on how to do it. Super simple stuff. All right, so that's the NX. What else do we wanna cover here? So in this same file, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna drop some instructions at the bottom that might be helpful for 
you know, someone that's jumping in here for the first time, like the Hangar 9 Ultra Stick PNP model presets that we've got, great instructions that we wrote on how to install that and how to set it up. It's all listed out here for you. This is also gonna be, or is already, on the Hangar 9 Ultra Stick PNP's model uh, page or product page under the manuals, but it's here for you as well. So a couple of little quick functions that you can use this for. One thing that's really great is when you're using this with, uh, if you have an iX20 or an iX12 or something, one of the iX Android ones, when you add this file share to your Google Drive, since you should have a Google account when you have one of these radios, it will add that to the radio. So essentially the best thing to do, and I have it listed out under the instructions, is to download Google Drive on your radio and then when you access this, then you'll be able to, through Wi-Fi, through the Google Drive uh, app, download these model files, like the iX model files, straight to your radio, right over Wi-Fi, no need to have your computer or anything. All right, another thing to mention is the AR636 presets versus the AS3X presets up here. So the smart AS3X presets are for the smart receivers, like I mentioned earlier and the AR636 presets are for just the AR636. That you can't really use one or the other, they're not backward compatible, so those are still there, and as receiver presets become available, when new models come out, things like that, you can be sure to find those here. So, for instance, if we scroll to the, well, one, one easy thing that you can do is to tap on last modified, and that will show you the newest presets that we have here. So uh, I made a small change to the F-16 Thunderbird. You have the HAN-4775, the Ultrastick PNP, and things like that. So you'll have all those here as a preset that's available to you. And that's essentially it. So that is the Spectrum RC file share public drive for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Um, and I do want to ask you a question. Would you love to be able to share your own model presets with the world? That's something that we're looking into that we want to incorporate with this model share drive. So for instance, if you've got an FMS plane that you think flies really good with your AS3X settings on your 637T, you can send those to us or potentially send those to us. We would kind of vet it, make sure it's right. And then we'd share it with the world. We'd have to give some instructions and things like that. But I think that's a really great idea and a great way to include the community in with this public file share drive. So comment below, let us know what you think and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to learn more about Spectrum, file sharing and pretty much anything Spectrum and smart technology. This is Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum signing off. Thanks for watching me and my hands. Have a great day.